So let's go ahead and say if is set dollar underscore post. Remember we're using post data down here. And we're going to say uh, search name. So we're corresponding this to the uh, name that we've given uh, the element in our HTML document. So if uh, this is true, we're going to run this block. And inside this block, we're going to set a uh, variable called um, search underscore name to the value of what's been posted. Because otherwise, if we specify this outside of our if statement before we've checked if the form has been submitted, we're going to have an undefined index error or an undefined variable error. So we've um, put this into a variable so we can use this later on in our code and we don't have to keep referencing back to this. Now let's check if this isn't empty. So if not empty, and uh, we're specifying the search name in here, if it's not empty, then do something else. Um, so basically what's gonna happen is, let's just echo out an okay message there. Uh, let's come back to our code, let's type in nothing, so we click nothing, uh, or we click submit without anything in being, and then nothing happens. If we type a value and click sub search, we get an, uh, an OK message back there. So now we need to start constructing our query, so I'm going to create a new variable called query, and this is going to equal our um, SQL query that we're going to execute or run inside of our database. So we're going to say select, and we're saying select name from Remember our date our table is called names. We've already connected to our uh, we've already connected out to our database a database here. Remember these uh, values must correspond to your your login credentials, and also the database that you're using. Um, let's take a look here. So we've got the names as the uh, database. So we're selecting the name from names. So select name from names, where name like. And now we can do what we've been doing inside our SQL tab in PHP MyAdmin. And we can look at um, the most sensible search op option in this case would be to have a wildcard either side. So we can put search name in here. Now remember we need to um, think about security for this. So let's, um, let's um, append this on. Let's get that outside of here. So what we've done is we've just um, closed our... Um, our, our uh, string data here and appended on the search name and then appended on the rest of our string data. Uh, let's uh, enclose this in MySQL real escape string to ensure that SQL injection uh, can't take place in this instance. Um, we're just as protecting against it as much as we can for now. So now what we want to do is we want to run the query. So query run is equal to MySQL query um, query. So now that we've run the query, we should have returned a value based on what the user has actually typed in. So say the user typed in Alex, we'd search for a wildcard either side of Alex, and uh, it could return, uh, well, it will return Alex Garrett and Alex Malcolm. So let's go ahead and check how many results we have got back. So what we can do is we can say if mysql uh, num rows and the, uh, we're going to feed this in the query. So this function is basically counting the amount of rows that we're returned by this query. So if, it, if they're greater than or equal to one, then uh, do something. So we want to say, uh, you know, display the results. Otherwise, this means that no results have been found. So we can just echo no results found. Up here for now, we're just going to um, we're just going to write echo found. Uh, we're not going to display the data now, but we're just going to test that our query is actually working. So let's go ahead and type in a name that's not in this database. So we could type Craig in, for example. Click search. No results results found. If we type Alex and click search, found. So if we know that our query works now because we have data inside of our database that would correspond to Alex with the wildcard either side. Let's go ahead and type in Garrett. Click search. Now let's go ahead and type in G-A-R-R. -R and click search, that's found. Now let's go ahead and type in, um, for example, Josh, click search, and no results found. So we know that our query is working. Now what we can do is work to show this data. So we're gonna use a while loop. Uh, this is gonna loop through all the records that have been found and put them into an associative array. And by an associative array, I mean an array with the field name as the key. So we're referencing um, each uh, returned row um, by a, the key itself, so the data we want to receive from this. So I'm going to say query row equals MySQL um, fetch associative array. This stands for associative anyway. 
um, and we're putting the query that we've already run inside here.